David Young here with John Hansen, Natural ooh, Natural Mr. Olympia. Natural Mr. Olympia, the first one, right? Where you, what year was that? 1998. And what organization? Uh, the ABA INBA. Okay. Yeah, that was the first one they ever had. It was held in Greece. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. So take us back, John, to your beginning in bodybuilding. Okay. Your, uh, how old were you? I was uh, about 13, 14 years old when I started weightlifting. Okay. And I would say 14 years old when I decided that I wanted to be a bodybuilder and wanted to be Mr. Universe and be a bodybuilder. So it started right off with bodybuilding. It wasn't like you wanted to right, absolutely. prepare yeah. for sports. My goal from the very beginning was to win Mr. Universe and be in the magazines and, uh, and uh, be featured as a bodybuilder, right? So what was the point? You know, you're, you're there and the fire starts to burn. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that decision that you make, what, was there an experience that set that decision off? Yeah, actually there was. Um, it was interesting because when I started bodybuilding, or when I first got interested in bodybuilding in 1977, bodybuilding was very, um, it was considered a very oddball sport. You know, back then, not too many people worked out. There wasn't as many gyms. So the idea of having muscles and working out was a pretty oddball thing to do. And nobody really knew about the sport of bodybuilding. You know, there's a lot of myths about it, about how all the muscle turns to fat and um, you get muscle bound if you train. Sure. So I remember when I first started getting interested in it, I started buying the magazines. I would bring the magazines to my junior high school. And even like the teachers would tell me, you don't want to do that. You know, it was, it was, everybody was very negative about it. My uncles, my aunts, if I brought up the magazines to a family party, nobody liked it. You know, everybody thought it was like the worst thing ever. And then that summer, my parents took me and my brother and my sister on this month-long trip out west. So we drove, we didn't fly. And we drove through all the states from Chicago all the way to California, went down through California and then back. So when we were in Southern California, I told my dad I wanted to stop at Gold's Gym in Venice, which back then was the only Gold's Gym. And I wanted to see all the guys that I've been reading about for the last few months, you know. But we were on a tight schedule and we couldn't do it because the next day we're going to Vegas, you know. We had everything planned every day, so I was all bummed out. And then that day we were going to Universal Studios, and as we pulled into Universal Studios, there was a sign outside that said, today we're filming the World's Strongest Man Contest. So my mom's like, well, maybe you'll see some of the bodybuilders here. And I'm like, nah, there'll just be a bunch of fat weightlifters and powerlifters, you know, it's not gonna be none of the bodybuilders, you know. So we walk in, and Lou Ferrigno and Franco Colombo were in the contest. That was in 77 when Franco hurt his knee. Wow. And Arnold was there watching him. So right there in one day, I got to meet Arnold, Lou Ferrigno, and Franco Colombo. And so I thought, this is fate. You know, I'm, I'm destined to be a bodybuilder. I have to do this. So when I came home, I said, I'm going to be Mr. Universe. And I was all psyched up. Wow. That's so that, that, was, that was the big moment for sure. <laughs> so at some point in time, you realized that there was more to the whole picture in bodybuilding that met the eye. And you decided that you were going to go the natural route. Right. So what... What brought that about? What what was the thing that did you know that said I'm going to stay natural? I'm going to be a natural bodybuilder. I, well, I knew about steroids uh, at, from the very beginning, really, because they were talking about them in the magazines back then. But um, it was actually an article that Arnold did, an interview he did, and he said that the bodybuilders who used them only used them three months before a contest for like a finishing touch type of thing. And he said his advice to young bodybuilders was to build your physique through the training and the nutrition. That way the muscle you have is yours and it's not a drug physique. So I took that advice to heart when I was like 15 years old. And I made sure that I didn't use the drugs, you know, when I was younger. Um, I started competing as a teenager at 16 years old. I did 10 shows as a teenager from 16 to 19. And all the guys back then were using them, or a lot of guys back then were using them because they were easy to get, they were legal. So even the teenagers were using them back then, so it wasn't like just the top guys were using them. All the guys in all the contests were using them. There was no natural bodybuilding back then. Right. And um, I decided that I didn't want to do that. I wanted to build my physique naturally, and so I did, and I competed all through those teenage shows without ever taking them. And then I got up to 230 pounds by the time I was 21 years old. And that was, wow. you know, all natural. So from there, it was... Uh, it was easy to make the transition to the natural shows when they finally started around the, the late 1990s. Or, I'm sorry, the late 1980s, early 1990s. That's when the natural shows started. So then I already had the physique built naturally. So 
I took advantage of it and started competing in the natural shows.